So we've almost had Loki almost a month now. Loki was rehomed to us due to the noise that he was making. Um, Loki um, was very noisy in his old home. We actually went when we collected him and <laughs> we couldn't catch him. Um, he'd just fly and fly and fly and fly. Um, and yeah, so um, due to the noise, um, uh, Loki got rehomed. Um, he was in a love, loving home and, you know, they loved him to bits, but because he was very noisy, um, that's one of the reasons why he got rehomed. Um, so Loki was turned two years old when we, um, when we took Loki on. So the day that we went to rehome Loki, he, he turned two. So it was his birthday, which was really nice. So yeah, we've had Loki almost a month now. And he is an Indian ring neck and he, he talks, he says tickle tickle and he's a really good flyer. Um, when we first got him, obviously he would just fly about, he did, didn't come to anybody, he didn't want to know anybody. Um, and now, as you can see, he's sitting on my hand and yeah, he's staying with me for more than five seconds. It used to be that I counted uh, to five and he'd only stay with me five seconds and he got to ten. And yeah, so he's staying with me a bit longer now and he's actually liking us. He doesn't like being touched still, so I still can't touch his body or anything like that. But I'm sure in time that will come. But we've had Loki almost a month. So we've had Loki almost a month now um, and he's doing really, really well. Um, yeah, he's a real character. Um, he can be a bit noisy. I won't say what isn't noisy. He can be, especially in the mornings. He can be a bit noisy. But we have a, so we have a cockatoo. So I suppose noise to us isn't that bad. But yeah, he can be noisy. So yeah, um, so yeah, he can be noisy. Um, he can be very noisy in the mornings. But I suppose because we've got bigger birds that do make a lot of noise, it's not really noticeable. But yeah, he loves flying. Um, but obviously, as you can see, he's actually staying with us. He doesn't like his body being touched at the moment. Um, and just as I said that, Loki has gone. So let me quickly finish this video off um, with Rio. <laughs> so yeah, so he doesn't like his body being touched. But we are working on all the things like recall and everything like that. So he is getting a lot better to what he was. Um, but it has took a while. It's Obviously, it's took a month now. Um, and he does want to be with us, which is good because when we first got him, he didn't want to be anywhere near us and he'd just fly around the room for ages and ages. Um, yeah, and he's a good little eater. He likes all his food. He likes his vegetables. He likes, um, he likes all different food. He'll eat anything that you put in front of him. So he loves his diet. So yeah, um, and that's all I can really say about, re uh, about, at least said Rio then, about Loki. Um, he hasn't got his full ring at the moment, so that's still coming through. Um, and yeah, Loki is an Indian ring neck, and yeah, and uh, Indian ring necks are known to be a little bit noisy, but obviously Loki talks, so that's a bonus um, because a lot of Indian ring necks don't always talk, they just make a lot of noise. So, as I said, um, his previous owner has worked on him really, really well, and it was a shame that. He, um, she had to rehome him but um, obviously I still keep in contact with her um, and yeah and he's doing wonderful so yeah so that's a bit about Loki I'm sorry he's not in the last bit of the video but he's having a little fly about he doesn't doesn't always stay with me that long sometimes he does sometimes he doesn't we're working on it so yeah but thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this video about our new member in the flock thanks for watching